The coronavirus cost many people their lives and countless others their jobs. And with that kind of financial uncertainty, many people are struggling to pay their bills, including their rent. So the state stepped in and is offering the HOPE grant to people still struggling. Haley Haynes, the Chief of External Affairs of the state's Office of Recovery and Resiliency, is here to answer your questions about how the program works and how you can get help. Now, if you want your question answered on air, you need to text that question. The number's on your screen right now, 336-379. 5775. Remember, this is a text only number. If you want your question answered, please don't call. You do need to text. All right, so Haley, I know this was from federal money and the state is the one who is kind of handing it out. It is called the HOPE program. Uh, let's talk about what it does. So HOPE stands for Housing Opportunities and Prevention of Evictions. And what it does is it pays rent for people who are behind uh, and utility bills for people who are behind who fall into the low to moderate income category and have been affected by the coronavirus. So uh, to be qualified for this HOPE program, you would need to earn 80% of the average area median income, sorry, the area median income for your county, 80% of that or less, and then you can qualify to get your rent paid. Uh, you have to be at least one month behind, but we will pay six months of rent. So say you're two months behind, which we're seeing a lot of the applicants coming through are a couple of months behind, behind on their rent. We'll also pay four months into the future. And the whole idea behind this grant program is to keep people in their homes during this really stressful economic time for everyone because people will be safer staying at home during the pandemic. All right, and so the way that people apply for this is they can call 211 or they can go online uh, for this program. That's correct. There is an online application that you can complete even on your phone, so it is mobile friendly, by going to www.nc211.org forward slash hope. And um, you can call 211. There have been longer wait times because this is a very much in demand program, but there aren't any wait lines if you go online and fill out that application. So we really are urging people to go online and fill out the application there um, so that that can then be uh, passed on to a community partner who's serving your community. Okay, great. All right, we've already getting some questions. And for those of you who are wondering, okay, what was that website again? If you just go in the Two Wants to Know website, we have all of the links for you right now so that you're able to just hit that link. And the application is about seven pages long and it asks you mm -hmm. all kinds of information. This person is saying, I applied October 22nd. When will I be notified with a decision? Um, so maybe you can kind of talk about the process timeline. So, um, yeah, the Right now we've got, I just ran the numbers and we're approaching 34,000 households that are eligible applicants. And so obviously that's going to take some time to get through all of those applications, get the wards processed and the money out to the landlords and the utilities. The, the money does go directly to the landlord or to the utility. Um, but in the meantime, we have sent out letters by email to everyone who has applied and is eligible, telling them that they are eligible, that they have met the requirement of Executive Order 171 that Governor Cooper signed last week, and they are protected from eviction through December 31st, 2020, as a result of being an eligible applicant in the HOPE program. So we hope that will help people um, be able to communicate well with their landlord to show that this rent that's past due is going to be caught up and paid and probably some into the future if as long as they're not a full six months behind um, and can help them stay in their home. Mm -hmm. This person says, depending on your income, could you receive a different amount of assistance than others or is it a flat rate for every family? 
So uh, it, the the uh, income really affects whether you're eligible or not, but it doesn't affect the amount of help that you get. So for instance, if you are in a written lease, uh, we are going to pay that full lease amount for each month, the past two months and the future months. Um, and it, we will pay the actual utility bills that you are behind. So uh, once you are eligible, you are going to get assisted with what you have pending. All right, this person, this is for renters only, correct? Yes, that's okay. true. Renters only. So this person says, but do you have to be a renter to get help with utilities? Yes, you do. Okay. Um, we, because of the limitations of funding, we decided that the most um, at-risk households are those who are struggling to pay their rent and are low to moderate income. So that's where the, the help for utilities as well is aimed. All right, this person says, I haven't been able to pay my light bill for the past several months. Can this program help me clear out or whittle down what I owe? Yes, it can. It can pay up to six months past due utilities. As long as you were a renter, um, you have to have suffered some economic setback as a result of the pandemic and be under that income threshold. Absolutely. And we are paying a lot of uh, utility bills. We've. It's, it's interesting to see, you know, in our applicant pool, what the percentage is where folks are asking for both rent and utility assistance or maybe just rent assistance. We have a significant population that's only asking for utility assistance and we will provide that. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the income so you can kind of see what's gonna be eligible. We're gonna do that as soon as we come back out of the break. You can continue to text your questions to 379-5775.